Woman Faces God After Death, The Seven Questions That Rocked the Afterlife. The venomous poison caused her distress, robbing her of hearing and motor skills until she succumbed to the shroud of darkness. Abruptly, she plunged like a bullet in a high-speed elevator, her senses drowned in a profound descent swallowed by the abyss of obscurity and the echo of silence. When the plunge concluded, she found herself ensnared in the deepest, darkest void she had ever ventured into. It struck her with undeniable force, she had crossed the threshold into death's domain, a creation of God, yet cast far from his radiant presence. Little did she know, he lingered nearby. She desperately tried to understand a profound revelation, stumbling in the shadows of confusion. A cacophony of discomfort grew into unbearable torment, a symphony of sorrow echoing with countless voices. Longing for escape, she, without a voice or physical form, cried out, God, help me. Suddenly, an enormous hand lifted her from the abyss, silencing the anguished voices. As her vision returned, she realized she was ascending away from Earth to a mysterious realm. In this perplexing place, she encountered beings radiating love and joy, their faces elusive yet familiar. Despite her confusion, a sense of apprehension lingered about the fate of her physical self. She noticed a striking resemblance in one of them to her grandmother, but details about this person remained mysterious. Curiosity led her to ask about Kathy, and their response shifted the focus to her presence among them, emphasizing the importance of communication with someone referred to as him. Gesturing toward a distant figure, they engaged in a silent dialogue where his thoughts directly entered her consciousness. She questioned the purpose of her existence in this mysterious realm, and he explained that he personally created her out of a deep desire for her presence. Despite feeling unworthy, he emphasized her creation and boundless love. His spiritual essence overwhelmed her with a love surpassing any earthly affection, even that of her dear grandmother. As she sought answers about the existence of evil, his response resonated, because there is good. Seeking comprehension of existence within his divine abode, she received revelations of his intimate knowledge of her being. He had designed her with precision, his cherished creation and child, cradled in the embrace of his profound love. The conversation took a turn when she asked about her awareness of being deceased. She admitted, yes, I guess I know I'm no longer alive. Digging deeper, she sought to understand if they, as God's children, experienced just one life or many. Cog's response prompted reflection. Think about this. Together, they stood at the entrance of a vast hall with countless doorways. God explained that numerous choices lay ahead, and the answer to her question rested in those choices. It was her decision to make, stay in heaven or embark on a journey through a doorway leading to a new life on earth. She asked God for advice on choosing a door, and his answer was simple. The door she picked would be her decision, its nature a mystery of fate. Wondering if life meant repeatedly choosing doors and reliving existence, she pondered this idea, burdened by past sorrows. God revealed that some choose to return despite his preference for them to stay with him. He explained that upon leaving, he wipes away memories of past lives to spare them distress, wanting life to be a positive experience. God's love embraced her as he confirmed her choices once again. He posed a poignant question. Now, why would you wish to depart from me? Her response eludes her memory. He continued with another inquiry. Now, how do you feel about being deceased? Her reply conveyed minimal concern but expressed a deep regret regarding her inability to bid farewell to her parents. Suddenly, she was back in her old body, unaware of how it happened. Choosing to leave the embrace of her all-loving Heavenly Father, she opted for a poignant farewell to her parents. The weight of her decision haunted her with horror and a deep sense of desolation. Trading the divine for a final goodbye, she returned to her planned life, now grappling with the impending loss of her father in four years while continuing the difficult journey of saying farewell to her mother. As Kathleen's story unfolds, it prompts reflection. Did her interaction allow her to question God, and could those questions resonate with your own? Share your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, stay safe and cherish the blessings life offers.